No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. I can be changed by what happens to me. But I refuse to be reduced by it. Because one believes in oneself, one doesn't try to convince. Because one is content with oneself, one doesn't need others' approval. Because one accepts oneself, the whole world accepts him or her. With realization of one's own potential and self-confidence in one's ability, one can build a better world. If you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won even before you have started. People are like stained glass windows. They sparkle and shine when the sun is out, but when the darkness sets in their true beauty is revealed only if there is light from within. We gain strength and courage and confidence by each experience in which we really stop to look fear in the face, we must do that which we think we cannot. Life is not easy for any of us. But what of that? We must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. You're never as good as everyone tells you when you win, and you're never as bad as they say when you lose. Don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. There will always be challenges, obstacles and less than perfect conditions. So what? Get started now. With each step you take, you will grow stronger and stronger, more and more skilled, more and more self-confident and more and more successful. Man often becomes what he believes himself to be. If I keep on saying to myself that I cannot do a certain thing, it is possible that I may end by really becoming incapable of doing it. On the contrary, if I have the belief that I can do it, I shall surely acquire the capacity to do it even if I may not have it at the beginning. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. I think that the power is the principle. The principle of moving forward, as though you have the confidence to move forward, eventually gives you confidence when you look back and see what you've done. With confidence, you have won before you have started. Said by Marcus Garvey. When you're different, sometimes you don't see the millions of people who accept you for what you are. All you notice is the person who doesn't. Once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight, or any experience that reveals the human spirit. As long as you look for someone else to validate who you are by seeking their approval, you are setting yourself up for disaster. You have to be whole and complete in yourself. No one can give you that. You have to know who you are, what others say is irrelevant. If we should define self-confidence in a few words, we can refer to it as the ability to trust oneself and one's capabilities of reaching a goal. It means feeling good about who you are despite external circumstances. While some people seem to naturally have it, Many of us only dream of becoming confident one day. A majority of us struggle with the fear we lack control, and that fear can infiltrate even our dreams. The good news is that confidence can be developed and reading a good set of confidence quotes can teach you in an instant something that others have learned in a lifetime. However, confidence is tricky. A lack of it affects our emotional and mental well-being it might transform us into pessimists, we'll have trouble dealing with failure will experience social anxiety and automatically be more stressed. On the other hand, there seems to be a fine line between confidence and arrogance, as many of us confuse the two. Arrogance is actually false confidence and it's usually destructive. There's nothing wrong with trusting your capabilities, it's one of the ingredients for success. The problem is creating the impression of being confident this will only lead to a negative response.